Hey, I'm going to do a quick video on how to configure Telnet and SSH on a Cisco router. The first thing you need to do is to connect the physical devices. And since we're using a router and a PC, we're going to use a crossover cable for that. The next thing you want to do is configure the FA00 interface on the router. You want to give it an IP address, make it 192.168.1.1, 24 subnet mask, and you want to use a no shutdown command to turn on the interface. Next you need to uh, configure your VTY lines, your virtual terminal lines. Go line VTY04. That covers all VTY lines that are on a Cisco router. Get, and you need, to get, you need to give them a password for Telnet to work. So just go password, any password you want. I'll just use Cisco. And save your configuration. Now we need to give the PC an IP address. Subnet mask. And it's default gateway 68.1.1. Okay. And go into the command prompt, see if Telnet works, type Telnet and the IP address of your default gateway. And there we see it works. It prompts you for your VTY password. Cisco. And we're in. Telnet's extremely simple to set up, very easy to use, but it's also very vulnerable. When it's being transmitted between lines, all the text is in plain text, and anyone viewing the line could see everything you're doing. That's why for business environments, uh, most people prefer to use SSH. SSH is encrypted, and it's considered to be much more secure. Figuring SSH isn't, isn't that hard. Uh, the first thing you need to do is you need to change the uh, the host name on your router. It cannot be the default host name of router or else the the uh, encryption key will not work. So just go host name and any name you want. Um, config T. Any name you want. I'll just use R1. Next thing you need to do um, to set up the uh, SSH on this router, you need the uh, IP domain name command. And the domain name can be anything you want. I'll just use steve.com as an example. Next, you need to set up your encryption. That To do that, the code is crypto key generate RSA. Now, and now here you have to set up the uh, bits for your encryption. Uh, Cisco recommended is 1024. I'm not really sure why they have 512 listed, but you know, just use 1024. Uh, final thing you need to do is turn on SSH. To do that, just go IP SSH version 2. Version 2 is much more, it's considered to be more secure than version 1, so just use that. Uh, and now the final thing you need to do is to configure your VTY lines to accept only SSH. To do that, just go line VTY 0.4 transport input SSH. This configures your VTY lines to only accept SSH, and if you tried telnetting into a router with this command set, it would not allow it. So just end, save your configuration. Now see if you can get it to work. SSH-L for login. We didn't configure username, so just use the default username of admin. And then the IP address of the router. And we can see it works. Type in the VTY password of Cisco, and we're in. That's it.